Hi everybody, my name is Joe Harford. And I'm Angie Singer Keating. And this is the security vlog for Reclamere. We were together last time uh, talking about a number of different issues, but um, the, the first thing that I wanted to bring up that I was kind of bummed out about was the fact that no one sent me a kazoo, and I said that I was going to play it on uh, the internet waves, so no kazoo and I can't play it, so... Oh, well. If I hadn't if I hadn't been running late this morning, I was gonna I was gonna literally scour my house for a kazoo. I'm sure you would for have. you, and I, I think that would have been kind of cool. Yeah, but so, instead you show up in a Hawaiian shirt. So uh, I, I'm sure at some point you're going to tell me why you've done that. I will. <clears throat> so first of all, I, I just want to remind everybody that um, we have the NAID conference coming up um, starting yeah. April 6th through the 10th. It's going to be in Orlando, Florida, more specifically at the SeaWorld Conference Center. Yes, and you know I love Orlando. I know you just love traveling to Orlando with all of those children inside a metal tube for two hours. <laughs> um, and the reason why this year is really important is bringing together a group of folks, uh, not only the industry professionals, but also speakers and a lot of great sessions to talk about what we continually get challenged by, which is what are we going to do around the security of information and it's no longer just about paper and it's no longer just about storage of records it really is the entire life cycle of how data gets created and how it gets transmitted and stored and managed uh, i think the the session by with captain phillips is is going to be really cool and um there's also some sessions i think that reclamier is involved with this year well, yeah, yeah. Before I get to the sessions that Reclamere is involved with, uh, someone mentioned something to me recently um, at a meeting I was attending, and they basically said that any business that survived the Great Recession of 2009, um, you're a real business. I right. mean, that really took a lot of chutzpah and a lot of guts and a lot of smart business strategy. One of the things I'm most proud of, and you and I both serve in leadership positions within NAID, we're very proud of that ourselves professionally, but one of the things I'm most proud of about this conference is that we continue to build sessions to help business leaders, business owners, executives continue to be innovative because the people that survived 2009 innovated. We innovated the DS360 model, which is highly successful with all of our clients for secure chain of custody. But if you're just shredding paper, you're missing out on great opportunities in record storage, in hard drive destruction. Um, a lot of good sessions, our friend Doug Adamson is going to be doing one on um, you know, the, 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 just the electronics and the ITAM right. world. Um, and so it's really about coming to this conference so that you can have the vision for your company to thrive in the 21st century. And I, I think that's a really positive thing about the conference that I'm proud of. Now on the session side, I'm really proud that Reclamere is bringing a strong contingent of people. I have to be honest with you, I'm a little concerned because, you know, the topics that you and Colin are talking about um, are things that are kind of secret squirrel information here at Reclamere that have made us so successful. And, you know, I would be lying if I said I'm concerned about the fact that we probably have competitors in the audience. But Reclamere has always led by example, and we have been willing to share our knowledge in the industry. And I think that's one of the reasons why people tell me that we, we have an industry leader reputation. So, for instance, Colin's going to be talking about overcoming today's biggest data destruction challenges. And that is something that every organization is dealing with, um, particularly on the electronic side. And we see more and more of our clients migrating to the cloud with hardware left. We see cloud providers that have their equipment coming to end of life. We see organizations struggling with bring your own device versus should I still own my, uh, my own devices? And what do I do about the information at the end of the life cycle if it's owned by somebody or, or I own it? Sure. Then um, another one that concerns me is you're doing a session called Pivot in 2016, Grow Your Biz for Years to Come. Are you going to be giving away all our secret sauce? Um, I'm, I'm going to give really good advice that we've been fortunate over the last 15 years of being in business, of being able to collect 
the good, the bad, and the ugly. All of the things that have worked for us, mm -hmm. um, the things that we thought were going to work for us and cost us a lot of money and they didn't. They were really kind of a failure. And more importantly, I think what I've, what I've been very fortunate um, over the last number of years to get from Need is that, yes, there are competitors that are out in the audience. Mm -hmm. But one of the things I think that, you know, people like Bob Johnson and uh, Katie and Jamie and so many other people in Need, and then also people that are on the board, yeah. people like Steve Richards and Mike Isabel and many others. Chris Isabel. Chris Isabel. So, well, sorry, Chris, um, is that... Um, it's really about collaboration because if we can get everyone in the industry to step up and take certification seriously, if we can get them to truly professionalize their operation, not only does it make it safer for their employees, not only does it make it more secure for the customers Absolutely. that they're trying to serve, Absolutely. but it makes the industry a very powerful agent for change when we talk about future legislation, absolutely. When we talk about look at the look at the great work that Nade did in New Jersey, yes, and being able to get some things changed oh, for yeah. the industry. That that's yeah. a big deal. So, yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna share the good and the bad, the ugly of our last 15 years of experience mm -hmm. because I think that you know as a as a member and uh, you know as, as two very active people in the association, sure. I think it's our responsibility to give back to those folks and and help them as well. Well. You're working on your real PhD at Penn State University. We are. Penn State. And I would say that you and I already have PhDs. We have PhDs in the School of Hard Knocks in this, not only this industry, but in business in general. Um, we started this company because we felt we already had our master's degree in how not to treat customers and how we believed we could also have an environment for employees that was respectful, paid competitive wages, and we could really, really grow something. We, got, we have our masters in that. Surviving, if you recall, when we started, we started in the midst of a recession in 2001, and we survived and grew, and we survived and have grown and come out even stronger after the recession in 2009. Um, so we have, a lot, we have a lot to share, and I am, I am proud of that. Um, I'll be doing a session called Surviving a Security Incident, and especially in light of the changes that came under the final omnibus rule of HIPAA and the High Tech Act, this is a really serious, serious challenge. It is. One single hard drive is the equivalent of a tractor trailer load of bankers' boxes of information. And so, if you're NAID certified, you've already got really good controls in place and you know that you're subject to unannounced audits and you have your regular audits by our independent auditors and you're in really good shape to prevent an incident from happening. Um, I, I, if you're not certified, uh, that's this is really a time where it's more important than ever to have those independent controls. But investigating an incident and being able to report back to your client on exactly what you lost, exactly what might have been exposed, and being able to work through that is the difference between catastrophic bank law, bankruptcy and losing your business right. to, as we did through an incident that I'm going to share, saving your client and helping your client understand why not only are you did you handle this incident well? But you have everything in place to make sure that you're handling every incident well. Sure. Because there are only two kinds of, of, of organizations. Those who have had an incident and those who will have an incident. And whether or not it is a breach or not um, really is immaterial because the process of investigation and making that determination is in some cases more expensive than if you actually did have a, a reportable breach. Right. So um, those are those are some of the things that we're that we're going to be talking about, and I'm really excited. And one of the things personally that I love about Nate is it feels like a high school reunion that I actually want to go to, because I get to see friends that I have developed. I have developed a network of trusted colleagues that I can pick up the phone and say, "Hey, Tom Simpson, how do I handle this situation?" Or, you know, in the case of Don Adrianson, you know, on some level you could think of him as a potential competitor, um, but he's 
I pick up the phone and, and we talk and we're able to share resources. Rich Woodward at Maxim has been just uh, wonderful and we've shared a lot of information and helped each other's businesses grow. So those are the things at the NAID conference that I really, really, really enjoy and, and look forward to. So there have been a lot of topics that we talked about so far this morning and, um, and I think that we probably should wrap it up and, yeah. and actually wrap up part one Correct. of this particular two-part series. Right. And, um, and we'll be back and get into some of the other issues related to those things that are out of place. Yes. And how are you going to deal with both business and personal security. Yeah. So yeah. part I, one is over. Yes. And, and I, hopefully you will come back for part two because in part two, we have a free offer. We do have a free offer. Yes, yes we for do. For people who attend the NAID conference and watch this video blog. So please make sure you uh, come back for uh, part two.